Okay, so um, here we are on our hypothetical days. Sunday was the 20th, Monday was the 21st, Tuesday was the 22nd, and Wednesday was the 23rd. And here we are on Thursday, okay? And we have three backups, the data file backups, the archive log that was done after the data file, and the control file and SP file are from the 21st. And then we have all four files from the 22nd, all four files from the 23rd. So now on this Thursday, and we all we, we did a delete um, obsolete. And remember, 25 sequence 25 through 28 were considered um, obsolete archive logs. And so you'll see from our previous video, when we did, when we did a delete obsolete, it not only cleared up the metadata where list backup doesn't show them anymore, um, but it also deleted the archive log sequences from the um, archive log destination. So now on this hypothetical Thursday, the 24th, let's run our backup. Backup database plus archive log. <clears throat> now let's type in report obsolete. No backups, um, no backups found that can be deleted. Okay, so now we have from three backup three days ago. We have Wednesday, we have Tuesday, and we have Monday. Okay, and all these backups now, um, so we can recover from user calls on Thursday and says today and says I want to back up from today. We got it. I want to back up from yesterday, Wednesday. We got it. I want to back up from Tuesday. We got it. I want to back up from Monday. Sorry. Okay. So, I'm sorry, from uh, Sunday, sorry, okay? So now, let's go ahead and let's change the date again, and let's make it hypothetical Friday, 11.25. Now we do our date, and we'll see that our system date is now set to 11.25. So, let's connect with our man again, and let's do a report obsolete. Ah, check this out. We have some data that's obsolete. And what do we have obsolete now? Let's do a list back up here, and let's take a look in detail on what, what we're dealing with. <clears throat> okay, so according to a report obsolete that we ran on uh, Friday, hypothetical Friday, data from the 21st and data from the 22nd, okay, um, is now obsolete. Okay, so what's obsolete for, let's go through this piece, back a piece at a time. What's obsolete, what's the first thing that's obsolete? The first thing that's obsolete is one EMS. Let's see what that is. One EMS are the data files that were taken on Monday the 21st. Why are they obsolete? Well, they're obsolete because it's Friday. And if you take three days away from Friday, that's Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So again, today is Friday. And, and three days ago was from Friday is Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Okay, so that being the case, he's now can now not be recovered. So he is now obsolete. So let's take a look what else. Ah, sequence twenty nine is obsolete, which was done on the twenty first, and that is in piece one fs one fms. Here we go. One fms. Sequence 29, again, that's 1FMS, sequence 29, is now obsolete, and it was taken on the 21st, Monday. Okay. And, of course, we have the actual archive log in the destination, and we have the backup of that as well. The next thing that's obsolete is the, is the, is the uh, auto backup of the control file and SP file for that day. Okay. Which is taken on the 21st and is 00, zero sequence. So we go down here. And there it is, zero, zero, taken on the, tw zero, zero, backup taken on the 21st, and look, SP files included and control files included. Okay, so that's obsolete now. And then on the 22nd, we see we have archive log 30 and AMSQ and uh, 1HMS. So let's go down here. Here it is, 1HMS, and we see that the um, backup piece that contains a sequence for 30, which is right before the data files, 
backs up on on this hypothetical Tuesday, okay, which is the twenty second, that they're long they're no longer um, that they're no longer required. Why? Because look at the dates of the archive logs, twentieth and twenty first. Okay, we don't need those archive logs anymore. Okay, okay, because we're only concerned about backing up from the twenty second on. All right, so that's everything that's now eligible for deletion. Okay, so let's also take a look at these backup pieces here and show you how our man deletes them. So we have uh, one EMS, one FMS. Probably be better if I were to open up another window here. And I was go to app, Oracle product, going to my Oracle home here, 1120, CD, home underscore one, database. Okay, and I were to look at my, this is where the Oracle Home slash database on Windows boxes and slash DBS on Unix or Linux boxes is uh, where my, um, where Armin writes its backup pieces by default. So, uh, we have, oops, Windows 7 did not like that. There we go. So, we have uh, one EMS right here, and there's the file, one EMS. Okay, the next file we have here is one um, FM, and that's right here. And uh, as you can see, one FM is also here. So that's two files. And we also have a uh, zero zero control file backup. Zero zero for uh, the 21st, 2011, 11, 21. And there it is. 2011-11-21, and then we have 1HMS, and here it is, so the first three files, 1EMS, 1FMS, 1HMS, and the 21st control file are all going to be deleted automatically when we do a report obsolete, and of course, let's do, let's do a directory listing on our database archive log location. And 29 and 23rd, and uh, you see 29 was cut on the 21st. 20, 30 was cut on the 22nd, okay? But it's the first archive log set that was cut before the DBS. So both of these logs will be deleted as well. Okay, so let's go. So in our RMAN window, let's do a delete, no prompt. And this time I want to do a no prompt obsolete. So you'll see that I don't have to answer yes in the confirmation prompt. We'll just assume yes with a no prompt and delete. Okay, all files deleted. Now I do a report obsolete, and I will see there's no obsoletes. Now if I do a list backup summary, I will see that I have the 22nd three files, I have the 23rd four files, and I have the 24th four files as well. I'm going to do one last backup here on Friday. This is my Friday backup. This will complete my um, week work week worth of uh, backups. One a day. Report obsolete. Nothing. And if I do a list backup summary, I will see that I have backups from the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And 25th is a Friday. And why don't I? Why do? Why do I only have backups to go back to the 22nd? But that's because if it's the 25th, which is the Friday, and you take away three, okay, that's four. That's 24, 23, 22. So three taken away from 25 is 22, and that's as far back as we go. So now that we did a, a delete obsolete, report obsolete, and we have nothing. Now, if we DIR our archive logs, we will see that 29 and 30 are gone. And we will also see, when we go back to our Oracle Home window, we will also see that the 1FMS and 1EMS files are gone. And we will see that the 21st, the 2011-11-21st-00 control file uh, backup is gone. Okay, so the one. EMS and 1FMS is gone, file backup piece is gone, and the auto backup control file from 2011, 11, 21 are also gone. Okay, that's how you, um, that's how you set up uh, 
retention, and that's how retention works uh, with the recovery window method in RMAN. Okay? Thank you.